Hey guys, Shane Starnes here with DroidForums.net. You know me better as Droid Monitor X. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install the ice cream sandwich leak onto your Droid 4. Before we get started though, I just want to make sure that everybody is warned. Once you install this ice cream sandwich leak, there is currently no way to get back to Gingerbread, so you will be off the official over the air upgrade path. Uh, so before you get started, just know that uh, if you're daring enough to go ahead and install it, uh, then by all means continue with the guide. Uh, just know that this does take you off the official over-the-air upgrade path. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the developers should be able to come up with a method of getting us back to the over-the-air uh, upgrade path once the official Ice Cream Sandwich Elite comes out. They've been able to do it in the past on other devices like the Bionic and uh, the Razer. Um, but for now, that method is not available. So the first thing you want to do is check your system so we'll go to settings and about phone. Be sure that you are on the 6.13.219 system. If you have installed any kind of modifications or frozen anything in titanium backup or if you've ran SafeStrap on your phone, make sure that you FXZ to a clean version of uh, 6.13.219. Once you've done all of those things, you're going to head to the link in the description, download the zip file uh, for the leak, and it should show up in your download folder. I've already transferred it. Uh, so you'll want to go to your download folder in internal phone storage, download, you'll find the file, press and hold it, and go to copy. And I'm going to cancel it because I already have it copied over. And you're going to go to the SD card and then you would hit paste. So it'll show up here, d4.6.16.213.zip. Go ahead and hold that, uh, I mean press that, and it's going to uh, unzip it. When it unzips it, it's going to be here. So you'll want to move both of these files. Uh, you'll just move them back one. And then you'll go and move this file as well. I uh, Just move it back one. So that way it's on the external card. Once you've done all of those things, you're just going to power down. And then from there, we'll boot into recovery and flash the ice cream sandwich leak. Now, this method does require that you have an external SD card installed. Uh, some of you guys don't have an external SD card installed. If you follow the link in the thread, there's also a method that does not require the external SD card, but it does require you to be rooted. So uh, you'll have to follow that guide if you don't have the SD card installed. So we'll get down to recovery. Let me kind of get focused in here so you guys can see what we're doing. Just select recovery and then hit the up button. So we'll go ahead and hit both volume rockers. Now what we want to do here is apply update from SD card. So we'll go ahead and hit the power button. And then we're looking for the blur version 6.13.219. And we'll go ahead and select that. Now this may take up to 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and let it get started. And once it gets started we'll pause it and come back when it finishes. So it kind of freezes up for a second before it gets started. Okay, so now it's flashing the system. Uh, this will take up to 15 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and pause here and we'll come back. Okay guys, so it just finished up and it brought me to this screen. So from here we're just going to reboot the system. And when we boot back up we should be in Ice Cream Sandwich. Pretty exciting. With this being the very first boot up, it's probably going to take a while. Uh, so don't be panicky if it seems to take forever. Just give it time, up to 15 minutes to boot for the first time. Okay guys, so it kind of skipped the boot animation altogether and just brought me to this screen, Android is upgrading. So if for some reason that happens to you, uh, it'll, it just appeared to be a black screen for about two minutes and then this screen popped up uh, and now it's booting into the Android operating system. Don't be worried if for some reason you get a black screen. It's just doing the process. Uh, I'm going to pause here once more and we'll come right back. Okay, so when it finishes the upgrade screen, uh, you'll notice right off the bat that you have a few changes here at the lock screen. Uh, you can go to camera directly from the lock screen. It's going to be laggy on the very first boot. Uh, but as you guys can see, we are now in Ice Cream Sandwich. You can already see the difference here. If we go to the app drawer and go into settings,
we'll just pull up about phone so you guys can see that we are now on the ice cream sandwich leak. The settings drawer is totally different here. If we go to about phone, the Android version is 4.0.4. .4. The system version is 6.16.213. Uh, so guys, that is how you install Ice Cream Sandwich, the leaked version on your Droid 4. Uh, for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Like I said, in the next video, I'm going to bring you guys the root tutorial. And I will probably bring you guys some ROMs that are based on the Ice Cream Sandwich leak. Uh, so just make sure that you do subscribe to this channel if you like this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave comments below. Uh, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the forums.